Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Tech Bytes. Today we have the iPhone 8 Plus. Today it came out for everyone. Got announced on the 12th of September. And today we're going to go through the unboxing experience of the iPhone 8 Plus. So as you can see, classic, well, the new classic way of unboxing. It used to be a cellophane packed. But straight away you can see how nice it looks. Uh, the way we put the font on it looks almost like copper slash rose gold. But this is the, the gold version, the 64 gig. And let's go for it. So this is obviously going to be an interesting experience. Um, so let's see what happens. So as usual. You've got your design by Apple, California stuff, and your standard issue Apple stickers. Uh, but welcome to iPhone leaflet, telling you how it works. Um, your SIM pin, got loads of them, and some documentation. And then now, you've got a wonderful iPhone, just here. And it does have some weight to it. Similar weights, that's the 6 plus, this is the 8 plus. So in theory, it's quite a generation jump, in theory. But that colour is so nice. Looks better than what it does in the pictures. Let's do this. Everyone loves that unpeeling. There we have it. The iPhone 8 Plus. Let's do the first power on. Powering on. So you're probably thinking, why didn't you buy or wait for the iPhone X? Or iPhone 10, sorry. And part of me is because I don't know how I feel about the iPhone 10 currently. And there we have the wonderful iPhone 8 Plus powered on as usual standard issue charger earpods with lightning cable and then lightning 3.5mm adapter and standard issue lightning cable for charging except lightning cable will not be getting used because I'll be using the wireless charging feature since Apple now support wireless charging, about time Apple. Um, that will go back in there because I don't need it. And for now, they can go back in there because they are not needed. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very nice. Very nice feeling, very... Just... Feels nice, it's great. and just clean it looks really really clean it's telling me there's no sim card installed um, but let's see if the setup process if you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11 bring it nearby to sign in automatically aha so Here we've got set up new iPhone. So we're going to set up new iPhone. Covering up the email address on here. So connecting. Waiting on other iPhone. So now with iOS 11 it brings this option. So bring the camera over that. And connecting. Finish on new iPhone. Enter the passcode of your other iPhone. Say not by phone. It take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Bear in mind this is a new process that only got rolled out as of iOS 11. I need to put a SIM card in. And since the SIM card from this one is going in this one, I need to remove it from this one. Let's 
get that SIM card out. Now it drops. SIM card tray out of this one. Out it comes. Then goes the SIM card into the phone. And try again. So, all in all, the, two, the, the experience, I mean, antenna bands, apart from up the side, they are completely gone. No antenna bands whatsoever. One thing I am noticing is the back of this phone is becoming a fingerprint magnet already. Um, but, other than that, it's not too bad. Let's just set up this Touch ID. Continue. Forgot about all this. Why can't it just transfer my fingerprints? Continue. Setting up Apple ID. I shouldn't see that. So, <laughs> agree. It's a nice phone. I will say that for definite. Last year, as you know, I had the iPhone 7 Plus briefly. Um, for review purposes only. This year, I am keeping this phone. Um, based on the fact that I need a new phone. Um, and so, that is why it's being kept. Plus it's nice, it's a nice phone, it's a nice phone to move to. Yes, I could go for the iPhone 10. There are downsides to the iPhone 10, but we're not talking about the iPhone 10. We're talking about the 8 Plus. It's got the same camera that the 7 Plus has. It's got wireless charging now, as I've said previously. Um, update back up. So, in reality, what we've got here is something that's really nice. This doesn't support 3D Touch. This does. And it's, it's just so nice. <sighs> Sorry. Just having to sort out Apple Pay. Continue. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. And that's the setup for Hey Siri. You're probably thinking, why are you like, oh yeah, this one comes with true tone display. So as you can see, the colour tone on the display changes. It goes a bit blue, and you take it off on true tone, it goes nice. I did think it was showing a bit differently. True tone, I like. In fact, compared to those two, because normally I use night shift. But this is nice. Sorry about that, guys. Um, let's go. There we go. So, just waiting for the backup to complete. Um, so, that is really the unboxing experience done. Um, if you'd like to know more about the iPhone 8 Plus, do let me know. I do have some accessories for it yet to unbox. So I've got a wireless charger, I've got a screen protector and a plug. Um, all from Anchor, purchased myself, so no sponsorships there. Um, other than that, great phone. Certainly would recommend it if you're looking for a new phone. If you're definitely upgrading from, say, the 6 Plus, because last year I felt the 7 Plus wasn't worth the upgrade for me. However, to the 8 Plus now with the wireless charging built in, it is definitely worth it in my opinion. As I say, that's everything from today. 
and I hope you've enjoyed this Tech Bytes unboxing and setup. Uh, the phone apparently will take about seven more minutes to set up, uh, but you've seen how easy it is to set up just with iOS 11 as well. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this. Give us a like, rating, and comment if you have, and if you're not already, please do subscribe. Catch you in a bit, guys.